Hello everyone, my name is Aditya and today we'll be talking about how to achieve a publish subscribe pattern uh, within Oracle integration. If you've created integrations before, um, you've seen that there are a couple of patterns to uh, create the integration, uh, like app driven, schedule based, file transfer. Two of those options are publish to OIC and subscribe to OIC. Um, the way these worked were you would create an integration that would publish a message into the internal message queue and the way this would work was the subscribers would then pull the uh, the messaging service and then get the messages out and uh, do their task but uh, this has been deprecated so uh, let's look at the uh, recommended approach now and now the recommended approach is to use the OCI streaming service. Uh, so within OCI, um, within Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, there is an OCI streaming service. Um, and the integration would then publish a message to that streaming service. And then the subscribers can then go and um, check the, uh, the stream and pull out the message and do their task. Uh, some of the prerequisites. So first we need to create a stream pool and uh, within that pool we will have our stream where the integration will publish the messages and the subscribers will uh, consume the messages from. Uh, and the second uh, is to configure the uh, OCI streaming connection within OIC and uh, there are some details that are needed which uh, I'll show you once we get into the console where to get those uh, security details from. Uh, we also need to create an auth token uh, that is going to be the password for uh, for the user so before we get into the console i just wanted to show you the official documentation and uh, the different styles and within that you'll see the note that um, the uh, publish and subscribe pattern for integration style has been deprecated and the current recommendation is to uh, you know use an invoke to publish a message to the uh, OCI streaming service. Uh, so once you're into the OCI console, you can open the menu and search for streaming and open that. And once you're here, you can um, either go and first create a streaming pool or directly just create a stream. So um, I clicked on create, I just gave a name. Um, I selected the default. Uh, if you're doing this for the first time, the default won't exist, um, but there will be an option to create a default pool. Uh, if you want to create a new one, you can create a new one uh, with the public endpoints and Oracle managed key. So once you do that, it will create the stream. And uh, I have one already created called um, testing pubs up. Now let's go into the OIC page and see what we need to, um, to configure the, the connections. So if you go to integrations and then connections and um, I have one created and here you will see that um, the information that this adapter requires is the bootstrap server um, and the way to get the bootstrap server is uh, you go back to your stream and within this stream go to your stream pool and once you're in the pool there is a Kafka connection settings um, resource and within this uh, you'll see the uh, bootstrap server um, the second thing that you require is the username and then the password so the username is also available right on the same page uh, if you see this is the string uh, for the username and it also tells you that the password is um, an auth token so for that you can go to the user uh, user details and then under the user details, there's auth tokens, and uh, you can generate a token by giving it a description. So once you have those details, go back to the um, adapter configuration and enter in the details, click on test. And once you have it at 100%, that means it's uh, ready to be uh, used within an integration. So uh, coming back to the integrations now, um, I've built a couple of integrations. Let's look at the uh, publisher integration first. Uh, the publisher integration is pretty simple. Um, in this case, since it's a test, uh, that's why I have a schedule and I'm hard coding the message to publish. 
um, but in your case you know this could be a trigger from an ERP this could be a trigger from EBS this could be a REST uh, trigger so any other uh, third-party app can consume that and you know send it to OIC which would then publish this uh, to the stream I'll just quickly walk you through the adapter so once you drag and drop the adapter within the integration you will see a couple of options. Um, in this case, I have selected publish message to stream. This will pull all the available streams. Um, I selected the testing pub sub stream, um, and I also gave a message structure. So this integration will publish a message to the stream. And then um, I have two subscribers um, that will go and pull the data from the, uh, the stream. And um, both the subscribers are configured similarly. Um, the only difference uh, for those subscribers is the consumer group. So here I selected consume message from stream. Um, and then if you see here, I have a consumer group CG1 and in the other integration, I have CG2. Um, if both of the integrations have the same consumer group, then the message will be consumed by only one. Um, if you want both of those to receive the, the data from the stream, uh, then just give them two separate uh, consumer groups. And, um, and they will read the latest messages from the stream. Let me actually run this and uh, we can uh, take a look. Ran the uh, publish integration. If I go back to the streams and I click on load message, you'll see that a new message has been inserted and uh, you can see that uh, that is the JSON data that uh, was sent to the stream by the publishing integration. So I'll come back here and now we can run the subscribers. And if we go to the monitoring page, you can see that uh, both of them succeeded. And in the logs, you'll see that um, the message received from the stream is the data that was published into the stream. So since these were two different consumer groups, that's why the, both the integrations should see uh, the messages. Coming back to the slides, um, and so the demo that I just showed, in that you might have noticed that the subscriber integrations that I had were schedule-based and not trigger-based. So to do, to use the, so to use the OCI streaming adapter as a trigger, uh, you actually need to configure an OIC agent. Uh, this agent just needs to have access to the streaming. So coming back to our OCI streaming adapter, you'll see on the bottom I have an agent group assigned and I have an agent that is up and running. So coming back to the integrations, since the adapter is configured with the agent, um, I'm able to use it as a trigger. So when you use the adapter as a trigger, the only option you have is to consume messages. Therefore, skipping that option there uh, directly goes to the stream and partition, and uh, you can add the consumer group. Um, and then this is the most important thing, is the polling frequency. Uh, you can set this for seconds. Uh, I have it set to 60 seconds, so it runs every minute, and um, pulls in the, uh, the published messages. So uh, let's go ahead and this time run the publisher again. Since I ran the publisher again, you'll see this offset was 22. If I do load messages, there should be a 23 now. So that means this is the newer message. And if we come back to the monitoring page, you can see that the uh, testing trigger subscribe, the uh, integration that we had that was polling, the streaming service just ran. And if we look at the message that was uh, read, from the stream, uh, you'll see that uh, this was read and the offset there. So meaning that the latest message was read from that stream. So that's how you can achieve the publish subscribe integration pattern with OIC. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.